This is nade jumping. Let me explain exactly how it works and how you can use it to cover massive distance and climb up high buildings quickly. It's a mechanic that's been used a lot in other games, including Titanfall, but it's never been talked about in Apex Legends. So I'm going to cover everything there is about it and why you may want to try it out for yourself. So first, let's jump into the firing range and I'll explain how to reproduce it and some rules for making sure it works. Then I'll explain its pros and cons and how it could potentially be used in the game. So nade jumping itself is pretty straightforward in terms of how it's pulled off. There are really only three rules. Rule one, you need to jump as soon as the grenade explodes, which means there is some timing involved. Rule two, if you want to go forward, you need to slide forwards or walk forwards. The grenade will boost any momentum you have, so a faster slide will get you to go faster. But it's really hard to time. If you want to go straight up, staying still and sitting on the grenade will work too. Rule 3. This only works with low profile legends. Seriously, I don't know why, but I guess grenade physics apply differently to them. Ever noticed how sometimes grenades fling you really far and sometimes they don't? This seems to be why. Sadly, this does mean that Octane can't even do it, which is a bit of a disappointment. I guess he's retired from his nade boosting gauntlet days now that he's got a jump pad. I want to prove this quickly by throwing a grenade at our feet and not pressing anything with a low profile legend and then trying again with any other legend. You can see the difference. So now if you want to get the maximum boost there are two core things. The timing and the distance we are from the grenade. Ideally we want to be on the grenade as it explodes and jump exactly as it explodes. It's hard to get right but usually I throw it right at my feet. Then as it stops rolling I count down from four seconds. One, two, three, four. I jump on four. So we need to get a run up and time that into that as we're sliding towards the grenade to get a far boost forwards. Now, if we want to go up, it's much simpler, but once again, the timing is important to get the highest jump possible. Now, there's another problem with nade jumping. It deals damage to you and unfortunately, friendly nades cannot be used to nade jump. So is it even worth doing? Yeah for two reasons. Either you want to hunt down a kill or a third party fight, but you just can't quite get there in time or two, well, it's fun, a lot of fun. So there's one way you can take this further and this takes even more timing and ultimately it's a lot easier to do with a golden body shield. You damage your armor just a tiny bit, say with a thermite, now that your shields are lower, you can use a shield battery. And so you need to time it so that it finishes just after the explosion goes off. That way you can regain most of your lost health, not all of it because any damage done to your raw health cannot be returned with a shield battery and low profile takes an extra 5%. So grenades do 105 in total. When you're doing this, you have a lot going on. You need to count down from four as soon as the grenade stops rolling. But before that, pop off your shield battery and then as soon as your battery finishes pull out your shotgun and fire. If timed correctly you could pull off an amazing play but timed wrong and it's easy to time wrong especially in the heat of battle and you either waste a battery and still lose your health or land in front of somebody without your weapon out in time. So it's worth considering, it's worth practicing if you want to try and do some crazy plays with this. Ultimately, nade jumping in Apex Legends is a very high level move that isn't going to be useful in every situation. It's nowhere near as useful as something simpler like bunny hopping or even just strafing, but there will be opportunities to use it and you'll feel so happy you pulled it off. So I'm still learning myself, but I still wanted to share this trick with you. There are some do's and don'ts I've learned along the way. Firstly, like mentioned before, this really should only be used to hunt down an escaping injured player or to land into a third party before it's ended, or just to use to cross different terrain or jump across buildings, otherwise you're going to have a bad time. If you do it running straight towards someone as they're shooting at you, it's really not going to go down well. You need full health for this, and if you go below 100 before the grenade dies, you'll die instantly as the grenade explodes. So if you do catch wind of an enemy in the distance, then you can use it then when they aren't aware of your presence. Next, let's talk about weapons because spread is affected a lot when you are in the air. The most recommended weapons are shotguns, the triple take and the charge rifle because with these you have freedom of movement without any penalty to your aim or the spread of the weapon. However, I found it also just landing and then bursting with an R99 or any other close range weapon works too. You can do some pretty crazy things with a choked peacekeeper, triple take or a charge rifle though. Let's say an opponent is hiding behind something and you can't get an angle on them, well you could try this. 
Also, you can throw the grenade and then slide backwards or walk backwards and jump to be blasted in that direction. Essentially, the blast will boost any movement you currently have. Or what about putting a Gibraltar dome shield down, then nade boosting from the inside to jump peek out the top with a charged peacekeeper. Yeah, pretty crazy. All of these things have insane potential and if you pull them off you're going to remember that play. To me, that's what makes Apex special, using movement to pull off incredible plays. So is it 100% practical? No, of course not. Is it going to potentially get you killed more times than it benefits you? Maybe, but is it fun and is it going to make for some insane memorable moments. Absolutely. And perhaps more importantly, I feel like this nade jumping thing has yet to be fully realized. Wait until everybody is trying it and then let's see how creative people can get and how good people can get at timing their hills and jumps. The craziest thing to me is that it boosts your momentum. So if you get a really good slide, you're going to go very, very far. Pair that with a grapple or a jump pad at the same time and you could have these crazy chains of movement. I haven't perfected it myself for sure, but that's why I'm so excited to share it with you all because I'd love to see how far the community can take this. Now jumping can also be used to traverse the terrain and buildings in new ways. Here is a quick example. You can jump pretty high with this. It's like a budget jump pad in a way. You could argue, well, why not use a jump pad or climb? Well, because is that as fun as nade boosting? It's all about enjoying yourself with this one, my friends. But who knows, maybe there's the occasional tactical benefit for it too. Maybe it could be used to escape quickly onto another building, or push a building that would take too long to get to without nade boosting. Now, if you could be nade boosted by your teammates and not take damage, this would be insane. Imagine jumping as two grenades go off to get double the boost. It would be awesome, but unfortunately, if there's no damage, there's no boost effect. So that's it, that's my knowledge about nade boosting. I've shared it with you now, and I hope that you have some fun with it. If you manage to make any crazy plays with it, let me know, I'd really love to see how far the community can take this. In fact, I am so excited that I wanted to run a bit of a small competition. You have until next Thursday to submit your best nade jump kills. The rules are quite simple. All you need to do is get a successful nade jump kill, record the footage and then upload it to YouTube. Please put the hashtag Apex Nade Jump Challenge in the description, that way I can find it by searching for that hashtag. The winner will get 2150 Apex coins. I thought it could be a fun way to do something whilst we wait for more content. Ultimately, even if you don't win, it could still be a fun thing to get involved with. Please, if you do decide to take part, please put some form of contact in the description, such as social media accounts, an email, or a Discord name. There aren't really any rules as what counts as a nade jump kill, simply perform a nade jump and then later get a kill in the clip. In fact, even if you don't get a kill, if you have a really cool moment and you think it's worth sharing, that can be part of the competition too. It doesn't really matter if you do get a nade jump and there's a big pause between the jump and the elimination either, but ultimately the best clip will be what I personally think to be the best use of this ability. So if you get a crazy jump and lead up with a shotgun headshot as you fly past somebody's head, you're gonna have a better chance for winning for sure. If you have any questions about it, you can join the Discord and ask questions there. Link will be in the description. All right, that's it from me. I really, really like this movement mechanic. I've yet to really get some insane, really good moments of it, but I'm sure the potential is there. I'm honestly quite surprised nobody else has really tried this or made it very public. I've never seen anybody in the game use a nade jump against me. And I've never seen any of the pros or the streamers use this, and it's like, why not? We know that nade jumping is in Titanfall, it's been in other games for so long, but somehow it's just kind of gone under the radar, like this isn't a new thing. And I think unlike bunny hop healing, this isn't really an exploit like the developers thought it would be. I mean, it's just taking advantage of a mechanic that allows you to be boosted by grenade explosions. And at the end of the day, you take damage from that. So it's not a perfect thing. There's a downside to it too. So please, I would really love to see this kind of get some attention. So if you know any friends that like doing some crazy stuff in game, definitely let them know that this is a thing. Show them how to do it because we could have some really fun moments for this for sure. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't know already, I stream on Twitch and I also have a gameplay channel. I'll provide links to both of those in the description and the pinned comment. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.